Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, get out the way. Yeah. Cause I'm on the way. Yeah. Get out the way. Get out the way. Yeah. Cause I'm on the way. Yeah. Get out the way. Get out the way. Move. Cause we on the way. Yeah. Get out the way. Get out the way. Yeah. Oh, we make the way. Yeah. Get out the way. Yeah. 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 Move. Get out the way. Yeah. 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 Man, salute to the subscribers that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Know who I be. Follow me on IG Vada underscore fly. Tell you my mind said hi. Some madness. It's time for some madness. Salute to my guy Showtime as peace. Salute to everybody that watches this content, whether religious or passion. Summer Madness 12 is upon us. This will be my last final prediction. My final thoughts. My final everything before these battles actually happen on Saturday, September 24th on the Ultimate Rap League, respectfully. There's a lot of battle rappers on here, some dope battles on here, and I'm sure that you guys will be entertained. Like I said, you, when you everybody can say what they want, whether it be about the rollout, whether it be about the battles, whether it be about whoever's not on the card, but we all know that when it happens, you're gonna watch, whether you love it or hate it. You're gonna watch, I mean, come on, Summer Madness. Um, off top, Danny Myers versus Fonz, Shotgun Shug versus Chess, Easy to Block Captain versus Calico, Tay Rod versus Swamp, and Sue Surf versus JC. So many things I can say about these battles, but I'm gonna start with respectfully Danny Myers um, making his first appearance on Summer Madness. We all know the bar guy with a lyrical flow who has countlessly shown us the rebuttaling skills, the technical rapping, and just being an overall professional in the sport. Uh, he gets on the card versus Fonz, who's an up-and-coming MC, won an Ultimate Madness, has a lot of punches, has a lot of flow, charisma's there. Uh, he just had a battle with Calico, you know what I'm saying, it was a one-round joint on the rap committee, where he did his thing on there too, and now he's coming into a battle versus Danny Myers. Now this battle was rescheduled I believe twice, um, Battle of the Bayou, and I think it was on another card, so they should have, they have had ample time to write. I know things change with the times as, you know, days go on and events happen in life, so you may have to, like, shift a little something here and there, but overall, the, the, the consistency of both MCs is what landed them on Summer Madness. Danny Myers started off his year with a Tay Rock battle. He had a very good battle with Rock. He did his thing. He was doing push-ups all in the battle. He was rebuttaling shit that uh, that Rock was saying. And the one thing which is funny about both of these MCs, and I'll you know what I'm saying I'll talk more about Danny and Fonz in a second, but they're I won't say biggest enemy. I will say the area where they need to prove themselves most is probably the big stage. Because I've seen Fonz on some stages, but never as big as he's going to be tomorrow. Um, Danny Myers on big stages. I can remember the big stage battles he had. He hasn't, he hasn't had that big stage battle yet. He battled Ab on a kind of big stage. He battled none, none on a kind of a big stage. But he needs those big battles and those big moments. See, that's the thing that separates star power from people who are you know adequately doing what they're doing. Um, you got guys that perform well on big stages, like a Briz Rothstein performs well on a big stage, uh, Hitman Holla well on the big stage, Kayshawn, Sue Surf, even Verb performs well on big stage. The big stage is not is not given, it's 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 earned. You gotta earn your respect on that stage because they're talking, they're heckling, they're they're doing everything trying to sometimes they'll even try to throw you off and you know, they talk between your rounds, you can get two old chant three old chants. The big stage is a monster. Uh, the big stage is made for punches, though. A lot of I've seen punchers succeed. I've seen guys like Av. I've seen guys like Nitty and other that are really strong punchers succeed on big stages. But um, from a technicality perspective, the rate that Danny Myers is on, his rebuttal ability, and his experience. Not on summer madness, it says, because like I said, he's been battling for 65 years and he's finally getting on one. But just overall, when you look at the preponderance of evidence of what he's done, 
Um, he's done it for a long time, you know what I'm saying? So I have, I, my edge is towards Danny. I got Danny with a 2-1 battle. Uh, Fonz is nice. Fonz gets busy. Uh, Fonz is able to shake the table. He's able to shake the room. He's got all kind of punches. He went crazy at Chris Brown's crib. But an uh, MC of Danny Myers caliber, if Fonz is going to beat him, I'm going to see it happen. He's going to have to do it. We're going to watch it. And if he does it, you know, I'm going to give a lot of respect. And you know my camera's still working. Um, oh, yeah, salute to the intro video. Uh, you know, Johnny Blue and Sugar out the way. Salute to them, you know what I'm saying? I definitely forgot to shout them out in the beginning. I definitely um, am rocking with your movement. Continue doing what y'all doing too, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if y'all haven't peeped it, uh, Johnny Blue and Sugar, get out the way is the music video. It's, it'll be pinned. It'll be in the description and all that. But, um, so yeah, I do have Danny Myers with a 2-1 edge over Fonz. That's just my personal perspective. Like I said, you can take my word for what it's worth or you can put it in dirt. Um, so yeah, um, great battle. Uh, they both deserve it. Fonz is a deserving name. I've always felt like, and said this vocally, I vehemently stated that I felt like Fonz deserved bigger looks and I'm glad that he's getting one. This is probably gonna be the biggest look that he gets. And the same argument that I've had for Danny is he deserves bigger looks. Speaking of bigger looks, um, another battle on the card that's very interesting is none other than Chess versus Shotgun Shug. Uh, Shotgun Shug has been on on a little run, he's been doing his thing. I ain't gonna hold you. In 2022, it's been a new refocused shotgun Shug. Uh, in his last battle, it was Stumbles. He was rapping, rapping. Like when you start rapping like that, rapping like Shug was. Actually, I made it when you start rapping like that because of Shug. But Shug battled Shug, um, Snake Eyes. But he brought. He's bringing it back. He been using these pockets of flows that I was like, oh, he's really writing. Like he's like, you know. Uh, uh, the pumps up, you dumb drunk. Uh, they got me tripping on stumbles. That's how you know stumbles got me fucked. Like he was wilding. Like he was like big stage. I do construction work on Ab with a jackhammer and other big moments, uh, pocket taps and things like that. Suge's presence is always welcomed. He had a great battle versus Pat Stay. Uh, rest in peace. He had great other great battles on big stages. So I know Suge is energy. You know he's moments. He's big stage, and then you have chess. Chess, now you can say whatever you want about chess, whether you feel like whether it be the chokes or the, 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 the throwing up or the acid reflux, whatever it is, we're gonna leave all of that alone and we're gonna talk about specifically the battle. Lyrically, obviously I feel like chess is a more talented MC. Technically, he's able to do so many things, uh, the freaking, uh, easy come, easy go, and the stick will pick up kid, like, stop picking on me, like, the stick will, it'll stick up to kid, like, quit, you know what I'm saying, you know the shit I was talking about, him versus Kid Chaos, um, and Chess could do it at a high level, the only question mark for Chess is will he have all of his shit, or will he be able to get through his shit, because, like, it's just been, and Gerald McCoy, salute to Gerald McCoy and everything that he does for the battle rap community, NFL, uh, all pro, you know, he's been doing his thing for years. Like, he's pro bowler. Y'all you know, know Gerald McCoy, Tampa Bay Buccaneers legend. Um, he brought up a great point. He told me that chess don't beat top tiers. And now when I thought about it, I started thinking about some of the battles that he's had. I was like, damn, you know, a lot of the battles versus top tiers, he don't really win. I mean, I know you got MCs that's like, fuck that. The only time I ever lost is if I lost or whatever. Kid. However you want to slice and dice it. I don't care how you want to put this together. They're like, I never lost unless it was me. I only beat myself and I get it. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 I heard mad niggas do that shit. Um, does he, he has the ability to do it. If chess comes with three rounds, no flaws, he's not losing the shotgun shit. That's just, let's just start there. And he's the only, one of the only MCs on the card that I can have these theoretical equations because when you look at his apex, when he's in these three round battles, bringing all his rounds, bringing classics, he's hard to beat. And then there's the other side of the pendulum, there's the other side of the coin where we see, you know, ooh, the opposite side. Um, in this one, and then it's the interest factor. How interested was Chess in Shotgun Suge when he was talking about, they was talking about Daylights and they was talking about all these big names and no knock on Suge, but then I, they, now you drop down to Suge, who you already battled on Utah. You already, they already have a three round battle. The shit is on YouTube. Go look it up. They have a whole battle already. And I didn't think, you know, because when I initially heard, 
I didn't. I heard it was gonna be Chess versus Rex, but quite obviously Rex has a pre previous engagements that he's gonna be on another card in October, so that couldn't happen. But uh, I do like it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna nitpick and go too far in it. I do have Shotgun Shug winning. The reason why I got Shotgun Shug winning is because I know what I'm gonna get from Shotgun Shug. You know what I'm saying? That's the one thing. I'm not saying a better MC. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying I know what I'm going to get. The familiarity is there. I know the moments. Shotgun Sugar is going to have some big ass moments. Like he uses punches. He's able to use these big stage bars and big stage moments when he needs them most. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like. He, he can, he can, you know, the chest, 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 chest shot. I pull a shotgun to chest, now he's running back. All oh, you gun titles, now you getting more money. I need some of that. Pocket chaps, big moments, dunks on him. Um, like I said, there's only this battle is only gonna go one, two, with two ways. Either Chess is gonna bring some amazing work and he's gonna show niggas the difference between and I'm from the Bronx, so I wanna see this happen. I hope that the, the difference of what I'm saying happens. I hope he brings some amazing work, gets super crazy, and makes niggas jump back in there and be like, yo, that's the chess I'm talking about. But the only thing that's gonna happen is it and if he beats Shotgun Shug, it further pushes the narrative where they're like, Chess don't beat top tiers because Shug is a top tier, but he's not like a super, super, super top tier. He's like, he might be up there, but they'll still throw him on a little, 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 little app only card. They'll, they'll app only, my boy, a little, a little something niggas are, <laughs> they're, they're app only a nigga sometimes. They don't really put big, 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 big names on app only joints. I'm just saying. Um, next, Tay Rock versus Swamp. Uh, Tay Rock comes into this battle with a pretty consistent year. He's been doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? He's had battles where he, he's whooped people's ass. He's had some close ones. He's even took an L or two. But it's just the nature of the beast because Tay Rock don't go after the the easiest MC. Like, he wants the tough matchup. I remember when he was going to battle Chilla Jones when Chilla Jones was frying niggas. It was right after Chilla Jones battle uh, Sean. I was like, man, I hit Rock like, you sure that's what you want to do? He's like, yeah, I want that. Like, he wants to smoke. And I must always commend Tay Rock for that because he wants to smoke. He wants the toughest MC. He doesn't take the easiest route and just schedule himself a bunch of battles against people that he knows he can beat. Um, so I do, I will always respect his competitive nature, whether he wins, loses, or draws. He never qualms or he never has any ill feelings about it. And as somebody who I can call a friend that... If he loses and I said he lost, or whatever the case may be, he doesn't really take it personally. I know MCs that when you say they lost, they'll take it personally. Like, oh, fuck that nigga. Ah, you know how it goes. But he doesn't take it personally. He takes the constructive criticism. They watch the joints. And a lot of MCs do. Um, so, you know, we're just nothing more than the, um, the vessel to um, the streets. We talk for the streets. We talk for a lot of niggas in the streets and barbershops. They watch this stuff and they break it down and they talk this shit. And email with Doka. That that shit just flew through my mind real quick. But I'll talk about that at the end. That shit was crazy. But um, so Rock comes into this battle with Swamp. Uh, Swamp was in a tournament. He had a far run, and he got to the last battle of the tournament. And he was this close, literally. He was this close to winning a hundred thousand. Uh, they did give the battle to JC. I felt the battle was closer than it was announced to be, but when you stumble or choke in the third round of a $100,000 battle, you make the judge's job way easier. Because if I'm judging the battle and both MCs come with it in the first and second round and in the third round one chokes, I don't even really have to think about the rest of the battle. You have to bring it in the biggest moments. You cannot score 43 points in the first three quarters, then go 0 for 9 in the fourth and lose. You have to bring it when it was called the rubber meets the road. You have to bring it at the highest moment in the third round. Uh, but overall, I rode with Swamp. I bet on Swamp. I won with Swamp. I lost with Swamp. Um, but it's all good, though. I don't feel any way. I think that uh, to see his elevation, when he battled against Dot, I was one of the first people that said, Swamp deserves better competition than Dot. Dot got, he felt the type of way. He, he won the bet. Y'all remember the story. And then Swamp and Dot lost every round. Dot is back now. He just battled press. Salute to him. But this is when I was telling you that Swamp deserved bigger competition and better names. Battle Rum Nitty beat him. Battle some other cats in the tournament. Shotgun Sugar and then beat them. And now we're here versus Tay Rock. Uh, I do believe Swamp is going to have some big moments. I do believe Swamp is going to be able to relate to the crowd very well. I do believe that Swamp can articulate himself in a way that people that are from the South, from the Carolinas, can love, respect, and embrace. 
Now, North Carolina and South Carolina are obviously two different places, but they're the Carolinas. Um, Rock is very consistent. Those rounds versus T-Top, he spent like six, seven minute rounds versus T-Top. I was like, what did he do to make this nigga so mad? Like, he was, it was personal. Um, I know Swamp and Rock were supposed to battle before. Uh, and now you have them battling on Summer Madness. Tay Rock on Summer Madness is now eighth appearance on Summer Madness. Uh, fifth or sixth. He's got, I think it's his eighth appearance on Summer Madness. This nigga been on Summer Madness a lot. So, when you take that into perspective, uh, and who's got the experience, obviously Tay Rock has the experience. Uh, who's got the believability. I think both MCs are pretty believable. Uh, charisma, both of them have charisma, but their charisma kind of spawns in a different way. Uh, Swamp got that, yeah, it, it's Tay Rock will make his eighth Summer Madness appearance, you know what I'm saying? That just had to get the facts. Salute to Let's Talk Battle Rap, you dig? Um, eighth Summer Madness appearance, that's a lot of work. Um, Rock has a lot of angles out there. I don't really find Swamp as much of an angle. He do a lot of real talk shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that, I knock a nigga fitted cap off from 100 yards, no cap, and that's, uh, I could, we both sleep, I could figure out where a nigga in my house by how to flow creek. He's gonna need big moments like that. Like, he's gonna need some big ass moments versus a Tay Rock. Like, you're not gonna be able to come in there and small ball your way out of it. You're gonna have to fucking hit some bombs against this nigga. Like, this, I've seen Tay Rock in the toughest of positions. And another cut, and another cut. That was on the Summer Madness. That was on Summer Madness, my nigga. Another cut, you can see Bell will buckle up. You need those kind of moments. Swamp, you need some big ass moments. Because what you did against JC, you had some shit. Those moments would have quantified. That would have been. If you would have got through all three of your rounds, that bad, that decision would have been. There would have been some niggas picking you. There would have been some niggas picking him. And it probably would have went down to the fan vote. That's just how I feel. But when you stumble and slip or choke, it negates all of that. Uh, I do have you doing very well. I do have Swamp surprising most folks and even getting a round, but I do have Tay Rock taking a battle. Uh, it's just, he's way too consistent uh, as far as like, he can have four minute rounds, five minute rounds. Tay Rock doesn't choke in almost 40, 50 battles. He don't choke, he don't stumble. And if Swamp does any of that, my bad, hold up, nah, fuck, ah, oh, shit. You do any of that, you're not gonna win because Rock is gonna go crazy on you. Um, Sometimes when Swamp has those moments, he'll already be three minutes in, 3.30. I'm like, bro, you could have just quit. You could have just said, yeah, yeah, you got it. Like, just finished the round. But when you acknowledge fucking up and you stop and all of this. But I don't want to take away from, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I don't want to feel like I'm taking away from his accomplishments. Because I'm part of the reason why I, I kind of feel like my word and my vouching and wanting him to do so good, you know what I'm saying? help put a good light on them. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not the benefactor, the only fucking person. There's a lot of people with these channels that talk they shit, salute to every one of them niggas that do their thing. But I feel like I, I really had a lot, I still have a lot of support for Swamp. And I want him to do his thing, but in order to beat a Tay Rock, you're gonna have to knock him out. You're not gonna be able to, it's not gonna go down to the judges, it can't be a debatable, you have to knock him out. You know what I mean? The battles that he had that people feel like he's lost, you know, he's got battling against a super world daylight, a crazy murder move, shit like that. You know, so you're stepping into a realm of an MC who can do it at the highest level. Um, easy to block Captain versus Calico. Salute to Calico and everything that he's been able to do in his uh, splendid career, getting to this point. Uh, Calico is the most decorated MC on the card, making nine Summer Madness, nine Summer Madness. Summer Madness, one, two, three, five, six, Impact Reloaded, 10, 11, and 12. The most decorated Summer Madness MC ever is none other than Calico. I fuck with Calico. I got family that fuck with Calico from the Midwest. Yada, yada, yada. We go back and forth. That's my guy. Uh, and I respect everything that he does. And then it's easy to block Captain. Summer Madness. Y'all can have Summer Madness 1 through 10 from 11 to 20. I got it. Summer Madness 11 and Summer Madness 12. Easy to block Captain's been on. And if things continue, he'll probably be on the next one too. I will say this, the Easy to Block Captain's had a remarkable run in a short time. We've seen other MCs have remarkable runs in a short time, but the staying at that level, the consistency over a extended period of time is where some people have their ailments because you know, they, it's hard to maintain at that high level. And then you have other things that get involved like money, ego, women, 
everything that gets involved, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you'll see a nigga fall off. And you'll be like, well, why did this MC fall off? I've seen, you know, even when Clips and them had gambling issues. There's so many things. That's the one thing about popularity, success, fame, or being successful, is you have more accessibility to everything. You have, if you have 10,000 followers on Instagram, you got some access, accessibility to more women than you would have if you have 100 followers. If you have 100,000 followers, you have more accessibility to women than niggas who have 1,000, you see what I'm saying? So, and then, and so on and so forth. Um, so, Easy the Black Captain's been able to blow up in a short amount of time. Uh, he's took on a lot of names. He's taken every battle serious. One thing I will attribute and credit Easy the Block Captain for is you don't see him battling on outside leagues. You think they're not calling him? You think that a lot of these leagues, the Gates of the Gardens, the Battle Academies, the whoever, you think they're not calling him? I'm sure he gets a call every week. But taking your career serious and taking it into your own hand means turning down money. You know, you're in Fresh Prince, you're in Bel Air, you're in a Super Bowl commercial, you're doing all these big moves. You can't be battling every week. So Easy understood quick that you know he had to take his career serious, uh, and he's taking it serious. And now he's gotten to Calico. Calico is clearly a lyrical wizard. He's been he was able to rap in these pockets of material and do these things with the pen that not a lot of people are able to do. And one thing I will say about Cal, what he does do is he can win battles that people don't think he won, will win, or he can make shows out of events and do things, and he just does that, you know what I'm saying? He's in a, he has colorful wordplay, a flawless flow, and you know what I'm saying, just mixed with the street believability factor, now you're battling against Easy Block Captain. These guys do these, these are like Rai and Ken in fucking Street Fighter, like a lot of their talents are exactly the same. The only advantage that I have for Easy is the, uh, the, the, the vocal projection and being loud and being able to really convey a message but those pockets of material and flows are dope but easiest battle against enough solid competition for me to know or to see what he may be able to do versus a Calico um, I will say this Calico did really good I liked what he did versus Fonz I did I'm not gonna hold you I did um, this battle is closer than most people would think um, I do have Easy to Block Captain winning this battle 2 1. I don't think Easy to Block Captain will beat Calico as easy as he beat Goods or as easy as he beat Rex or as easy as he beat a lot of these other MCs. I don't want Shine and shit like that. Those are like clear, 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 clear. This, I think this will be way closer. Um, Calico and Summer Madness, he's got a lot of pride. That's a big stage, a lot of reaction. But um, Easy is just in a different bag right now. And I feel like he's focused. And some, uh, I don't. I, a lot of the things that Cal was, I don't know if he was highlighting, were like in his tweets and things like that, you know, the, the, the girlfriend and him and the twerk battle and things like that. Those angles are cool, but you got to use them in a way that a lot of people know about this shit already, know about the girlfriend, they know a lot of people know about that shit. So, and the same thing for Easy, you know what I'm saying? If he uses angles that people know about, you're going to have to use them in a way that conveys a message that makes people get hype again. Because if I say the same shit that 10 other niggas said to someone, they're gonna be like, all right, that's cool, but what's new? This is Summer Madness, big stage bars only. Um, I do got easy with a 2-1 victory. Sue Surf versus JC. And salute to everybody that's actually, you know, that's going, that's pulling up, that's gonna be in the venue, be in the building, be in the area. Uh, if you're in Carolina, man, y'all be safe out there. The weather is getting colder, you know, so, um, Make sure you dress appropriately. Make sure you get some rest. Like a lot of niggas be asking me, yo, what's your advice? You going to event? Get some rest because you're going to be standing for a fucking long time. Like the line is long. Get there early. If it starts at 12, you might want to be there at 9, 8. You, you might want to get there early. Get there early. Get you some rest. And most importantly, be sure to eat before. Because you don't know when you're going into these vans. I ain't talking about go eat no shit that's going to like Taco Bell or you want to stay away from that. You want to eat something that's going to get you through the day. You don't want to be the dude that's in the, uh, in the bathroom at a big, no fucking big stage event. So eat right and eat right. You know what I'm saying? Eat you something light. Make sure you got something on your stomach. Drink you some water. Make sure that you're good and y'all be safe out there. But uh, JC versus none other than Sue Surf. This is a battle that they've been waiting on for years. People have been talking about it. It's been back and forth. It's been a lot of debates. It's been all of this shit. JC won the tournament, and now JC is in a position to battle Sue Surf. He won 120 grand. Let's just start here. Yeah, 120 grand. Let's just start there. Uh, salute to Gerald McCoy for his donation in that part, too. And now these two face each other. Uh, JC 
lyrical monster, line for line for line. If you want to see a battle where JC was crazy on a big stage, look at him versus Rum Nitty. Like, I'll just leave it there. Uh, if you want to see another battle that JC got kind of crazy and look at him versus Chess, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not Chess, uh, yeah, him versus Rum Nitty. Yeah, he did get crazy versus Chess, too. Him versus Rum Nitty, and that's the big stage joint that I'm talking about. If you want to see how he gets on the big stage, he definitely, he, he gets, he, he can get in his bag. I'm not worried about that. Uh, with this, though, uh, I'm not going to drag it out and make it longer. I can make the prediction all these, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to make it a little shorter. I got Sue Surf 2 1 for a simple reason. Uh, star power, like those big moments on big stages and shit like that, like, it's a, it, it, he can separate himself, you know? He comes out there, he can do everything that leads to it. If there's a face off, he can dominate a face off. He can, you know, the mythical white tee, he can wear the white tee, and if he has all three of his rounds, and he I'm sure he does, because he took a hiatus off social media and shit like that. He's back now, you know, sir, we want to talk his shit. But, um, I do have Sue Surf winning. I do feel like JC's gonna impress a lot. I feel like JC's gonna earn his stripes and probably, you know, come of age to where he can open up that fucking uh, Pandora's box and get some of these bigger battles that he wants and been naming and, and they just been dragging their feet with. So I feel like he's gonna leave the battle with more respect but Sue Surf in those moments, and he knows how JC, how critical JC is. And the thing is that like Sue Surf could use different pockets of flows, and he's able to you know hit the AMG mode and things like that. And with JC, with that flow, sometimes he'll do this flow, this line for line for line. That I know, I know. And while he's spitting some dope shit, sometimes you'll take, you'll get like three or four fire punches out, right? And they're landing like dope shit. Like uh, what he said, uh, bitch, listen, I don't play no matter where I'm at. Ben Simmons, like those lines are fire. But when you're getting those lines out, if you slow cook it, surface barbecue grilling. Like like one is a slow cooker, one is a grill. He's cooking on a fire, he's hibachi grilling. So uh, if Surf stumbles, if Surf don't have a third, he's losing, period. If he don't have a third, he goes back to that bullshit, he's losing. No questions asked. He's not going to be, you're not going to be, JC with two rounds. You're not gonna be JC with a bunch of compare. Oh, this, this was this sound like a nigga on the radio, like that, that, all of that shit. You can't be, cannot be. But who's powerful enough and who's dominant enough to win this battle? I do feel like uh, Sue Surf, especially on the Summer Madness. You might get a nigga to play around on a lot of other cards, but one card you will not get normal niggas to play around on is Summer Madness because it's so hard to get on. There's only 12 MCs or um, 10 MCs or whatever the case may be in the world. Who knows if they throw a surprise in. But uh, it's only a few MCs in the world that can get on this car. So take it, own it, hone it, and make it yours. You already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. This is my final, 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 final Summer Madness 12 prediction. Gang, gang. Get out the way. Because I'm on the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Because I'm on the way. Get out 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 the way. Are we making way? Yeah, 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 yeah